Hello everyone, it's me again, Teacher She. Today, we are going to discuss about solving problems using Venn diagram. But before we start, let us remember that to solve problems using Venn diagram, we must consider this coordinating conjunction, the OR and AND. We use AND if we are referring to intersection and OR if we are referring to union. Now, let's have an example. In a class, 15 like English, 20 like Filipino, and 10 like both English and Filipino. How many students are there in all? Now, let E represent the number of students who like English. And F represent the number of students who like Filipino. And E intersection F represent the number of students who like both English and Filipino. Remember that the coordinating conjunction AND is referring to intersection. That's why we used E intersection F to represent the number of students who like both English and Filipino. Now, we are going to make a representation of this problem in Venn diagram. Before we answer the question, which is how many students are there in all? Please take note that we can just simply add 15, 20, and 10 to get the number of students. Mali po ang magiging sagot natin pag ginawa po natin yun. So before we make a Venn diagram, again, what kind of set are the given set? Are they joint or disjoint set? Yung circle ba na gagawin natin inside the rectangle ay magkadikit o magkahiwalay? Yes, it will be joint set. O dapat magkadikit ang ating circle. So, we draw the circle like this. And name one circle as E for English and F for Filipino. Now, using the given data, what do you think will be written in the intersection of our Venn diagram? Yes, it's 10. So we will write 10 in this part because according to the problem, 10 like both English and Filipino. It means that the 10 students is part of English class and also part of Filipino class. Okay, so since we already have 10 students who love English and Filipino, how many students like English only or Filipino only? Let's go back to the given data. 15 like English. Since meron ng 10 students in the intersection and that 10 student is part or belong to English class, so instead of 15, we are just going to write 5 in here. Why? Ima minus natin ang 10 na nasa intersection because 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Bakit hindi pwedeng 15 ang ilagay instead of 5? Kasi if you are going to add the elements inside the circle of set E or English, hindi ito mag equal sa given data. Kasi, 15 plus 10 is equal to 25. Is a problem, it says that 15 like English. So, malinaw na po tayo dun, ha? Now, how about in Filipino? So, again, ima-minus natin yung 10 na nasa intersection. And ang sabi sa given data, 20 like Filipino. So, 20 minus 10 is equal to 10. So, it means only 10 students will be written in this part. After making a Venn diagram, let's now answer the question. How many students are there in all? Just add the elements or number of students in Venn diagram. So, E Union F is equal to 25. Why 25? 10 plus 10 plus 5 is equal to 25. Another example, 
A class of 28 students were asked if they ever had cats or dogs for pets at home. Eight students said they only had a dog. Six students said they only had a cat. And nine students said they had a cat and dogs. The question is, how many students said they never had a cat and dogs? So again, let D is equal to the number of students who had a dog. Let C is equal to the number of students who had a cat. And let D intersection C is equal to the number of students who had both cats and dog. Since in the given data has an intersection, our Venn diagram will be like this. And again, we name one circle as D for dog and another circle as C for cat. Now, what do you think will be written on the intersection? Yes, 9. Because in the given data, there are 9 students said they had a cat and dog. Okay? Now, how many students said they only had a dog? Correct. It's 8. So, we will write 8 in here. Now, why is it that we did not subtract or hindi natin binawas yung nasa intersection? Because the students in the intersection said they had both cats and dogs. At magkaiba yun sa 8 students na dog lang ang pet nila sa bahay. So, hindi natin sila imaminos. How about the students who only had a cat? How many students are there? Yes, there is 6 students. So, we write 6 in here. Let's understand carefully the problem. It said that there are 28 students asked if they ever had cats or dogs for pet at home. Now, check your Venn diagram. Can you count how many students or elements are there? Yes, there are only 23 students. But the data said it's 28. So, nasaan ang 5? Correct. We will write it in any part of the rectangle but outside the circle to complete the data or the universal set, which is 28. Now, let's answer the question. How many students said they never had a cat or dog? Correct, it's five students. Another example, in a birthday party attended by 40 guests, a dance contest was held. The following participated in the dance contest. 18 danced the hip-hop dance. 20 danced the ballroom dance. 15 danced the folk dance. 11 dance the ballroom dance and the folk dance. 6 dance the hip-hop and ballroom dance. 4 dance the hip-hop and the folk dance. And 2 dance the three-piece. And this will be the question. Again, make a pen diagram. So how many sets are there? There are... Three sets. Bakit siya three sets? Yes, it is referring to the three dances that the guest participated. So, ano kaya ang magiging itsura ng circle natin? Observe that in the given data, there are two guests who danced the three piece. So, ibig sabihin, yung tatlong circle natin ay nag intersect to each other. So, it will be like this. Let's name one circle as H for hip-hop dance, another one is B for ballroom dance, and the last one will be F for folk dance. Now, what do you think will be written in the intersection of this circle or in this part? Yes, two, because there are two guests who dance the three-piece. So, ibig sabihin, sinayaw niya yung hip-hop dance, sumayaw din siya ng ballroom, and then sumayaw din siya ng folk dance. 
observe that in this given data, it has also a intersection. So, ito muna ang unahin natin na ilagay sa ating Venn diagram instead of 18 dance the hip hop dance na nasa unang part ng problem. Always put in mind na dapat unahin natin lagi ang nasa intersection. So now, ang sabi, there is four guests who dance the hip hop dance and folk dance. So, dito sa part na to, natin ilalagay because it is the intersection of hip hop and folk dance. So, as you can see, meron na tayo kaninang nilagay na two guests who dance all the three pieces. So, therefore, instead of writing four in that part, we're just going to write two in the intersection of hip-hop and folk dance. Because two plus two is equal to four. Next, how about in this part? In the given data, it says that there are six guests who dance hip-hop and ballroom dance. So again, may two guests na kanina. So, 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. So, ang ilalagay natin sa part na to ay 4. How about in this part? So, again, there is 11 guests dance the ballroom dance and folk dance. And may two guests na kaninang nilagay tayo. So, 11 minus 2 is equal to 9. So, we write 9 in here. Now, let's proceed to this data. Look at the circle. This circle represents the guest who danced the folk dance. And in the given data, there are 15 guests who danced the folk dance. So, dapat kapag binilang natin lahat ng elements na nasa loob ng circle, it should be 15. Can you count how many guests are there? There are 13 guests. So, ilan ang kulang? Yes, 2. So, we write 2 here. How about this circle? The data said, there are 20 who dance ballroom dance. Again, check if it is already 20. So, there are 15 guests only. We are going to write 5 in here to complete the data. Lastly, how about this one? Ang sabi, 18 dance the hip-hop dance. And in the circle, there is only 8 guests. So, we write 10 in here. Are we done with our Venn diagram? Not yet. We must check first if the universal set or the number of guests is correct. So, there are 40 guests na umatend. Now, let's count how many guests can be found inside the universal set. So, we are going to add all the elements. And how many guests are there? They are only 34 guests. So, may 6 na guests na hindi sumayaw ng kahit ano sa tatlo. So, we are going to write it inside the rectangle but outside the circle. We write it here. So, the Venn diagram is ready. Now, let's answer the questions. Question number one. How many dance the hip-hop dance only? The shaded region will be our answer. So, the answer is 10 guests. Kasi ang tinatanong niya lang dito ay kung ilan yung guest na ang sinayaw lang ay hip-hop dance. Okay, next. Question number two. How many dance the ballroom dance only? Again, the shaded region will be our answer. So, there are five guests. Number three, how many dance the folk dance only? Again, the shaded region will be our answer. So, there are two guests. Next, number four, how many dance the hip-hop dance and folk dance but not ballroom dance. Ulitin ko. Ang sabi niya dito, ilan daw ang sumayaw ng hip-hop and folk dance lang. And not ballroom dance. So again, the shaded region will be our answer. So the answer is 
to guest. Okay, next. Number five. How many dance the hip hop dance and ballroom dance, but not folk dance? So the shaded region will be the answer. So there are four guests. Next, how many did not dance any of the three piece? Ibig sabihin, ilan daw ang hindi sumayaw ng kahit ano sa tatlo? So there are six guests. Now, it's your turn. You can pause the video to answer the activity. Let's check your work. This will be our Venn diagram. Let's answer number one. How many registered only for math club? So, there are 35 students. Next, number two. How many registered for English club? There are 20 students. Number three, how many registered for math and English club? So there are 50 students. Last question. Number four, how many did not register in math or English club? So there are 45 students. So that's all for today. Next lesson, absolute value. Thank you for watching.